right, guys, it's been a long time, and I apologize for that. Um, let me turn this light off because giving you... Oh, that's not even any better at all. There. Let's try this. I'll be blind, but you guys can see. That's fine. Um, it's been a long time, and I apologize. This is my busy season. I've got commissions and festivals and shows and everything else happening. But I've been dying to get back to this. This is going to be a, a gift for a friend of mine's sister who's getting married. They are having a Halloween-themed wedding, and I thought, what better gift to give the wedded couple than a pair of zombie dolls? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, and I'll probably speed through this next part so I'm, you're not going to hear me talking because I'm just going to be doing the skin. And then I'll zip through that, and then we'll go on to the next part. Now, what I've already done to this young lady, can you see the... The lovely yellow stuff that is expanding foam um, I don't know if you can see her very well she has a crack where is it a crack running right down her face there was a big hole here um, she had the crack went literally all the way around to the back of her head I couldn't even take her hair off because there's the crack right there her whole head was coming off but that expanding foam, you know, the kind you use to fill windows and um, and doorways, the cracks in the windows and doors, this is the kind I bought. Well, actually, my husband bought it. I didn't buy it. That stuff right there. Um, he bought the window and door, uh, soft, flexible for expansion and contraction. Try not to get the... Um, the one that expands the most they have apparently they have different expansion rates and this one I literally only squirted like two small pumps inside her head and I thought oh that's plenty you know I gave her a little twirl to get it moved around this is what I just peeled off of her head it was like this so you want to keep that in mind. I'm not throwing this away. I'm going to paint this and make it brains. Because she's going to be a zombie. She needs to have some brains to munch on. So since I cannot remove her hair. And she's going to be a zombie anyway. I don't care if her hair is a little jacked up. But I do want to get some. I'm not doing my regular skin texture. Which is this. You know. I'm not doing that because. She is so, like, broken up that it would just settle in the cracks anyway. So I'm going to go through, and I'm going to give her some highlights. And then when I'm all done, I will hit it with the water, and you'll see what happens. Now, this is just the first layer. Um, I will also be doing actual acrylic paint. So... I'm just going to kind of go through and hit her with the green pencil. This part doesn't even show with the dress she's wearing, so I'm not worried about it. But, you know, you want to still give good coverage. So, let's do that. And don't forget the hands as well. Both hands. Sorry about the camera, guys. I got a new holder, and it's a bit warbly. 
and I can't see what I'm doing and still show you too, so pardon me. I'm also going to be drilling her eyes out and giving her good zombie eyes. Um, this is just a little bit too uh, pretty brown for my taste for a zombie. Where's my blue? I've used that blue pencil so much shorter than all the rest. So I know it's easiest to find. I can't get my pudgy fingers down in there to get it though. Found it. Gotta have some deep blue around the eyeballs because that just would happen. So get some up there. Well, her mouth has got a glaze over it, so I can't color on that very well. But you can do around the mouth, too. She looks ridiculous right now, doesn't she? All right. Fingers. Front and back. Don't forget the thumb. It counts. other hand well you guys have promised I'm not any better at shooting video obviously I do apologize I'm not good at editing um, I cannot figure that program out I've tried I need somebody to sit down and teach me because it's awful I know how to fast forward stuff though, so we're learning. We're learning. Okay. Now, isn't she beautiful? You wouldn't think that we would end up with something that, well, maybe you'd think that we'd end up with something nice and creepy. But uh, let me get my favorite nasty brush. As you can see, I've had this brush for a very, 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 very long time. I have worn it down. It did not come like this. It started out life looking like that, just an angle brush. And over the years, I go to this brush. This was a natural bristle brush, and I have just worn it down. Love this, though, for this. So, oh, shoot. I got to get paper towel. I'm so not prepared. And that's the one thing I yell at everybody when I'm watching videos. Why aren't you prepared? But in my defense, I wasn't going to video this. I was just going to do it. But I decided to video. I dipped it in the water. Just plain, well, dirty water, but water. And here we go. I'm also going to speed through this part. Because this is boring. Nobody wants to see this. This is just a spritz bottle of plain water. Because these are watercolor pencils, they activate with water. So I'm going to give her a little mist and let that kind of moisten the paint. I know, I said moist. I wonder how many people are cringing. Okay, now if you're going to do this, make sure that you use a brush that you don't really care about, like a, a garbage brush. Go to the dollar store and get a cheap, you know, or Michael's and buy the big pack of brushes. 
this does a number on them. See how fluffed out my brush is? That, this really does do a number on your brushes. Don't use a good brush for this. All right. So here we have our, our young miss. She looks much better, I think. I think. Um, let's see. I don't know. I don't know. She's wet. I can't... <laughs> can't do a whole lot while she's wet oh but what I can do is I can drill her eyes out and I'll fast forward through that too I'm gonna flip her around though so that you can see a little bit better when I do it and I'm gonna adjust the camera so give me a minute I'll be right back okay I'm back sorry about that uh, if you could see what I had to do to get my camera up high enough to show you this is the tool that I'm using I bought it at Harbor Freight. It's about eight bucks. It's like a Dremel, but it's not cordless. You plug it in. And I, I have this teensy, oh, my gloves are dirty. Pardon the gloves. This teensy little drill bit that will go into the plastic of the eyes really well, and it nibbles away at it. Um, if this doesn't go quick enough, I can switch to a different drill bit. I got some new ones that uh, work like butter. So let me find out why my cord is stuck. I found it. Okay. Now, I hope you can see this. I had to turn the light on because I really do need to see what I'm doing for this part. Um, it makes it difficult. Really does make it difficult. If I put you straight up and down, you I can't see what I'm doing. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speed through this because nobody wants to hear that for 10 minutes. Yeah, that's going to take me forever. So instead of this little bitty top, I'm going to use um, this one. See the cutters on it? This one should make it go a little quicker. I don't mind it taking a while. I don't want to be here all night. You know? I don't think you guys want me to be here all night either. dear. See, some things never change with me. All right, let's do this. I hope you can see this. This is about as big as her eye. So you're really not going to see a whole lot, but you can see what I've done to her eye. All I've did was scratch the, the cover off. That's it. And I'm only doing the brown part of her eye. I'm not doing the white. And you don't want to go all the way through. You want to avoid that. Okay, done. Now, what I did was, I wasn't paying attention. And these cutters are so sharp that they cut through porcelain. That's why I bought them, so that I could carve stuff in the porcelain. And I actually did get her eyelid a little bit. So, what I think I am going to do is, I think I might, like, carve her nose out. What do you think? Should we carve her nose out and make it look like her nose fell off? I think so. Let's do it. What can it hurt, right? You always want it when you're cutting porcelain or glass or a hard surface, you want water to cool the blade and help it lubricate. Um, I might have to go back and redo the painting because it is water-based, and every time you add water, it reactivates the watercolor. I'm not worried about that. Right now, I want to get this nose off if I can. So let's see.
Okay. I don't have this tight enough, and I want to change the blades. I want to get one that's got a little bit broader coverage, I think. I think, like, maybe this one. This is the one I chose. Um, and I don't need to tell you, but I will, because, you know, I'm a mom and safety first. Always wear safety goggles. Always wear safety goggles. Porcelain could fly and blind you. This bit was slipping out because I couldn't get it tight enough in the, in here. It was sliding out. Um, if that shot out, it could hurt. Um, and I don't know if you can see the, the plat, the porcelain dust that's flying. You might also should wear a respirator. Um, I am not because I'm videoing and you would not be able to hear me. So do as I say, not as I do, please and be safe. A respirator and goggles is a small concession to make for a lifetime of art. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, we're through. See that? Um, I like it better if it were two nostrils instead of one, but I'm gonna pack some clay in there and I can make it look a little more separated. So I think uh, I think we're good for tonight. Um, I am going to let her dry completely. Probably gonna just touch up the water paint a little bit. And uh, then I'll spray her with a matte spray and uh, seal the water paint. Once you spray it with the matte spray, the water paint part is permanent and it will not change at all. So let me turn this light off so you can see her a little bit better now that I don't need the light to see. Um, I think she looks pretty good. She's getting there. She's going to be a beautiful bride. Isn't she? Uh, let's hope anyway. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you very much for joining me. Please click like and subscribe if you'd like to see the rest of her. She'll be done in a series, and I'll post every every step of the way. Um, except for, like I said, I'm just gonna spray her mat. You don't, you, you can't see me spray it because I can't spray it inside the house. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.